guys, it's Mandy and everything is okay. Some of you guys, my fans or my followers, follow me on social media accounts, my Instagram, things like that. And they saw that, what was it, Sunday night? I took a trip to the hospital. <sighs> Let's just jump right into it. We just got back from my sister's birthday weekend at the cottage. We had a lot of fun that weekend, everybody did. The thing is, is that that cottage was in the middle of nowhere. The water isn't safe to drink necessarily. You should be drinking bottled water or boiling the water because it's well water, whatever. Like sometimes it has a lot of sulfur in it or iron or whatever. I don't really know how that stuff works. But anyways, we were there for two nights. So for eating and drinking, there was a lot of that going on with the water, even though we were boiling it. I don't know if that's what did it. No clue. It'd be nice if there was some kind of explanation as to why this happened. We came home from a long weekend. We were really tired. I went to bed early before Luca did and I was lying in bed deep sleeping. Like I was out cold. Suddenly I woke up from this deep sleep from like this horrible like agonizing pain coming from my upper stomach abdominal area and shooting up to my chest. And it was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Uh, with the pain starting to shoot up to my chest, I didn't know if I was having a heart attack. It was at the point of like, the pain was so bad where I didn't know what to do. I was squirming around. I was screaming for Luca. He came in, he's like, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know, I'm in so much pain. All I can describe it as is that my insides were getting ripped apart. And it was like, it was like a sharp pain, but it wasn't in any specific area. It was just all over. Like, I've never felt anything like it before. And I knew something was really, really, really wrong. And I didn't know what to do. And I was kind of dealing with it for a while. And Finally, I'm like, you know, I think I need to go to the hospital. I can't handle this pain. And I was just kind of debating that. And outside, it was a horrible snowstorm, like seriously bad, just white and like blowing snow. And there was like so much snow, so much snow. Like it was really bad out. And not to mention it was like two in the morning. So I'm debating whether or not I should go, but I'm in so much pain. So I ended up calling my mom and telling my mom what was going on and she said, you know, maybe it's some kind of acid reflux thing, maybe it's just gas or air trapped, like sometimes that can cause a lot of pain, but it should subside, it should like kind of get better over time, so just wait, leave it, drink some water and see if it gets better. If it doesn't, then go to the hospital. So I was like, okay. So I was kind of waiting for it to get better and after like, 20 to fi like 15 to 20 minutes. I'm like, no, it's just getting worse and I remember It being so bad that I was crying and like wailing and moaning and like I had to get up to put Like to put good like clothes on to get outside to go to the hospital and Luca was helping me get dressed because I couldn't even bend over I remember getting on my knees and like leaning over my bed and just like wailing, like crying and it was so bad and Luca was dressing me. We walk out to the back door, we open it and I'm not even kidding, the snow was piled up to our waists. We could not leave the house from the back. So I called my sister, still in tears. I woke her up, I'm like, can we go through the main entrance and she was like, yeah, what's going on? What's wrong? Whatever. You can hear her side of the story on one of her vlog channels. Um, I think she posted a video about it then. So I'm like going to the hospital. So we got in the car. It was so bad outside, like seriously bad, like hurricane of snow. And Luca tried, like he turned on his car. It was frozen. The windshield wipers weren't working. We tried to back out, but there was it was just too packed with snow that we couldn't even get out of the neighborhood. 
So we circled back around. I'm like, I don't want to die right now. Like driving to the hospital. Like I don't want to die, but I need help. Like I need help guys. If you know that something is wrong and the pain does not subside or you think even in the slightest that you're having some kind of heart attack or something, health is the most important thing. You should be taking whatever steps you need to to get the help that you need. So I told Luca, I'm like, just call the ambulance because we can't drive in this and I need to get to the hospital now. So we ended up calling the ambulance and they were like, okay, we're on our way. Just make sure you call 911 so that it's dispatched correctly or whatever. I don't really know how that stuff works. So we did that and they showed up really, really, really fast. They showed up like within 10 minutes. It, the lights were so bright. I could see them. I could see them coming from the window and Jess and Ty said that there was a fire truck, but I didn't see that. I don't know, I was like up crying and I was out of it or whatever, but I didn't see that at all. Came in, they talked to me, they took my vital signs and were really, really, really nice. I wish I got their names so that I could give them a shout out because they were really good. Put me in the ambulance. I've never ridden in an ambulance before in my life. It was kind of embarrassing because it's like, I felt bad because it was snowing so bad and I was putting everybody at risk by going to the hospital, driving in that weather. And like, it's not like I'm bleeding out. It's not like I've been shot or I've been, I'm unconscious or anything. I'm just kind of being pathetic and like crying and whatever. And they put me in this, they strap me up in the stretcher and they're taking my vital signs and whatnot. And Luca's in the, in the truck with me. And it was just a whole ordeal. <laughs> and they were really nice about it, but it was really freaky. I've never ridden in an ambulance before and like been the one in the stretcher. It was crazy. It was a crazy experience. Anyway, so we get to the hospital and they take me out. They ride me out on the stretcher and it was, yeah, it was a really interesting experience. It, I, I kind of felt like a princess, like being on that stretcher and being rolled around everywhere and everything was super smooth and super easy because they were taking everything you know, they were treating me really well. I got to the hospital, I got into one of the beds and they gave me a really nice warm blanket and I was there for a few hours and they were just checking my heart. They kept checking my heart. They were just doing a bunch of tests. They didn't know what it was, but they knew it wasn't my heart. So they said, they gave me a few um, medicines that were anti-acid. I don't even know. I took them, I started feeling better. My hands are slightly blue, I'm sorry. I did a client today that wanted teal colored hair to like green and blue. So now my hands and my nails are blue. They gave me that medicine and it started to work. So they just kind of assumed that that's what it was. Just like gallbladder, acid reflux kind of thing an issue they didn't take any blood work they didn't do any other testing because i did start feeling better right away after that medicine that they gave me yeah one thing that i thought was really weird was um i didn't get my flu shot this year i haven't gotten my flu shot in i don't know a couple years now and i've just never gotten the flu you know like i take I, you know, I take vitamins, I'm very healthy, I eat healthy, I wash my hands all the time. My boyfriend had the flu this year and I didn't even get it. I just kept taking cold FX and like staying away from him and just cleaning everything and washing my hands constantly. And it's not that I'm against the flu shot or have a problem with getting it. I just didn't have the time or like didn't care enough to because I never have in the past few years and I don't want to upset anybody. Hopefully this isn't a controversial subject because I'm not an anti-vaxxer at all. It's just that I didn't get my flu shot. Whereas like if I, I would make sure that I did if I was working with kids or if I was working in an old age home or people that are easily sus susceptible to illness or whatever, but that's not me. I just didn't get it. I don't really have a like a real reason as to why, I just didn't. 
this year. But I have all the other vaccinations that were required, you know, when I was a kid, now, whatever. It's not really a serious situation for me. Like I just get whatever I need and then that's it. I felt like the flu shot isn't something that you necessarily need. And unless you're like a specific person who has a bad immune system or is already susceptible to illnesses or working with specific people who are, whatever. Personal preference, it's not a big deal to me. But every other thing that is required and ne necessary to my life, yeah, I've been vaccinated and I'm not an anti-vaxxer whatsoever. My point of view on that whole controversial thing is I feel like everybody's open to their own opinions, everybody's opinion is valid, I guess, and like, don't judge people and don't bash people for their decisions. In life like I feel like people will learn either learn the hard way or not there's a lot of things about the healthcare system that I agree with and that I don't agree with I'm not gonna get into that right now but you know like a, a big part of that is watching my sister go through her Lyme disease and lose half of her eyesight because doctors in Ontario would not tell her the truth about her having Lyme disease and instead prescribing her heart medication, diag giving her wrong diagnosis. Diagnosing? Am I stupid? Diagnosing her with the wrong things and like her getting sicker and sicker and more in pain and having to literally go over to the States to get the help that she needed and the proper diagnosis. That is a big reason as to why I have a love-hate relationship with the health the healthcare system in Canada, Ontario to be specific. But I am aware that I am so lucky to have the free healthcare system that we do in Canada, Ontario. And I've never really had a bad experience, which is a good thing, but the whole thing with my sister and the Lyme disease and the denial and the wrong diagnosing and the wrong medication prescriptions that she was getting and just stuff like that just makes me like, like my blood boil. Anyhow, back to my point, I think that if you don't want to get vaccinated, that's on you. That is your thing. If you want to get vaccinated, that's your thing. Let's not hate on each other about this. Like, that's just not. Let's just not. It's just so stupid. Like, do your own thing. Learn for yourself. I understand why somebody not getting vaccinated for like a worldwide epidemic crisis situation. Like, I get that, being frustrated with that. But like, simple things like the flu shot, whatever. Like, I don't know. I this video is probably gonna get a lot of hate now, but I don't know, like, I guess I'm just not educated enough to like, give you a proper opinion, really. Like, I shouldn't even be talking about it at all because I, I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, guys, like, I don't really, I don't trust the government. I don't trust a lot of things that come from the higher grounds. So whatever they teach you in school, might not always be the truth. That's just all, all I think. Yes to some, no for some, I don't know. I really don't know guys, I don't know. I'm just saying that, oh I went to school for this and I know this and I know that, isn't always a valid reason why something is the way that it is or the way that it isn't, but you think that it is because somebody told you it is. I don't know. Anyways guys, I was lying in that bed and one of the paramedics came up and asked me if I got my flu shot and I said no. And she like went off and she was like, are you an anti-vaxxer, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I just didn't get my flu shot this year. And I was just kind of put off. Because what if I was and I was just getting that treatment like somebody like talking down to me in that way when I'm like in this vulnerable state of like in tears and in pain and whatever. I like it just wasn't cool. I don't know. It just wasn't cool. Like whatever. I don't really know guys like just take it or leave it. 
I'm open, I, I'm not somebody, I, I have strong opinions or whatever, but like, I love hearing different point of views and like learning other sides of things. I'm not like narrow-minded, like my way or the highway, I'm right and you're wrong. I love hearing different sides. I love debates for that reason. Like I just love learning different sides of things. So teach me, like write in the comment section below what you guys think, what your point of view is. Don't get mad at me. Please don't hate on me for my view on it. I just think some people are right and some people are wrong and we should just love each other and not hate each other and that's it. Like I really don't know. I just don't trust everything that like the government decides everything for us. So I don't know. I don't know guys. <laughs> this just got really deep and I was just trying to talk about my experience going to the hospital. I got home at around 5.30 a.m. after a horrendous dro taxi drive home in that horrible weather but the driver did a really great job i was praying the entire way i got home safe thank you so much for all of your concerns and your love messages and get better messages thank you so much for that yesterday um i just kind of took it easy all day my stomach was feeling kind of off I don't know, there's a few people that went to the cottage birthday weekend that said the same thing about their stomachs and how they were feeling and there's something going around, maybe a virus or whatever, I don't know. I'm feeling better now. So thank you so much you guys for watching this. Please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and click the notification bell because I do make videos every week. I love you guys so much.